timeline discrepancy detected. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Bits of wicker detected, embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. The only members of a tossball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the tossball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. Something went wrong here. I really hope it wasn't the food. Lab too. We're close to finding something. I can feel it. I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacities, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. You do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress, Ruth Bellamy, yes? One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. -day. Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant you clearance enough to... Answer your murder-related questions, Mr. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Hmm. Yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Huh. I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. lose my life's work? You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No, I think not. We merely need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. 
clean up? They were human beings. Don't you care about them at all? Staff can be replaced, you know. Research data? Now that's invaluable. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Though it may be the more difficult route, I believe we should make every effort to save the lab techs. They are victims here. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. I'm on my way. Bella had a family.
lot more Rizzo's than I ever want to see in my life. Dr. Blossom? Captain, we gotta hurry. Somebody didn't want us talking to Dr. Blossom. Do you think it was Miss Helen's killer? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby.
Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely dead. But recently, they were still alive. Did the device find anything? Besides the obvious, I mean. I remember those gunshots. Energy weapons don't sound that way. Killer must have been using something exotic. Timeline discrepancy. The organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here mere moments earlier in the timeline. It looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. See that red wire? Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily. At least until the failsafes kicked in.
Unexpected beginnings begins the area. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the purpleberry orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. Chemical makeup of substance, 50% water, 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. We should try to solve the puzzle hedges and... What floor would you like? Next stop! I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The waspkitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are... suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? You have my attention. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist. And a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility.
Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Ah, that's... troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. A clever deduction, Inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Hey, Cap. Looks like they finally sent someone to clean up Helen's mess. At least I hope that's what he's here for. Oh, sweet gibbering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. Looks can be deceiving, friend. For example, what looks like misappropriation may, in fact, be a misunderstanding. I seem to have wandered into the wrong premises. I have mistaken this penthouse for the Rizzo's Ranger's locker room on account of my headgear cutting off my peripheral vision. Fair enough. You seem pretty decent. Also, you're guarding the only way out. I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie, the Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message, something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. You found the recording? Oh, well, that's just... that's just... Sweeter than a fistful of purple berry punch. <laughs> oh, law, Bertie's gonna slaughter me like a woolly cow. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. I figured you'd understand. Big penthouse like this, and you never know who's dropping eaves. Meet me over by the pilot house. It's the land complex with the big old engine that keeps us flying. I'll tell you everything I know, I swear. <laughs>